Welcome back to the channel guys hope you're doing good so I'm making a video regarding 8-bit the receiver and why you shouldn't buy it so let's get this started so the first device I'll be showing off is my Nintendo switch pro controller and it's hands down one of the best controllers especially if you want to use it on a PC because it feels really good it looks really good and it has features like motion gyroscopes which you can uh, use in certain games especially emulators if you want to run like uh, Nintendo Wii U emulators and stuff so to connect this controller you can use a USB cable and run it uh, quite easily and you can even uh, use this little device called 8-bit the receiver I got it for around 10 to 12 pound and it's pretty good device if you look into use one single controller at a time uh, it can be any controllers like the DualShock 4 or Microsoft Xbox controllers or the Switch Pro any Bluetooth controllers it supports all of them but the only issue I had was you can only run one controller at the time and that was a deal breaker for me because sometimes I like to play multiplayer on my computer um, if I have visitors at my place so we connect two different controllers and play so yeah this device is pretty good but uh, it's not as good as the device I'll show you next so here you go so guys this is the little device I would highly recommend instead of buying this 8-bit dual receiver because it has lots of more functionality than any of these devices uh, and it's none other than this a simple 4.0 Bluetooth receiver and I just got to know about it like a while back but I thought that 8-bit dual receiver has much more functionality because it didn't require any additional software so while using this little device you might need third-party software is installed but it will give you much more functionality and you can also connect multiple controllers at a time which is a great thing like you can con connect up to four controllers at least that's what I was able to do connect four controllers at a time and you can even use any additional Bluetooth devices which is such a great thing for the price I also got it for only eight pound which is a lot cheaper than the 8-bit do receiver and next thing I'll be showing you is the controller connected and some gameplay so yeah, let's get this started. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the prairie, a great war party was sent after the Less than half So as you can see guys I was playing with my switch controller but I also got my DualShock 4 connected so I can just pick it up and start playing straight away. So it's great for playing multiplayer games like if you have friends you can connect up to 4 controllers and play uh, all together. It works seamlessly without any reliability issues, any connect disconnections and stuff. To show you guys I also got my Xbox controller connected, uh, DualShock 4 and the switch controller all at the same time to a single PC uh, just as a proof that it works so hey guys this is the software you're gonna need it's called Ryochan DS4 Windows I mean DS4 Windows by Ryochan and this is the version you need to get to run the uh, motion controls cause it does let you run gyroscope and motion controls using Bluetooth connectivity and it's pretty simple software it runs without any issues if you follow the steps properly it should be pretty easy to connect the controller and you can customize your LED lights on the DualShock 4 and do all kinds of stuff remap the buttons and yeah pretty great software so the next software is called better joy it's used for Nintendo Switch controllers or the Joy-Cons. It lets you connect any of them using Bluetooth connectivity. And also you can use gyroscope or motion controls using this software as you can see here on the screen. It's pretty easy to connect as well and it doesn't have any reliability issues. 
if you run it properly also just keep in mind you have to uh, keep one of them running either this or the ds4 windows you can't run both of them together or it will create a motion control issues like one of them won't work as motion controls so if you don't need motion controls you can run both the software at the same time and use the use the controllers to play games so yeah uh, everything's pretty good so yeah guys that was a small video if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and also like the video subscribe if you like the content i'll be bringing some uh, new videos hopefully very good videos to the channel and see you till then yeah, yeah.